Hi guys, my name is Nieti. Hola, me llamo Nieti. And today we are going to be talking about Jupiter, the king of the gods. So, why is it Jupiter, the king of the gods? Because Jupiter is named after the Roman god Jupiter, who was the king of the gods. Uh, it was named that because of its size, because Jupiter is so big. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and it is also the largest planet in the solar system and it is the planet with the most moons. Uh, Jupiter, it has 53 named moons and 26 uh, moons awaiting official names. So scientists believe that totally Jupiter has 79 moons. Okay, so anyways, Jupiter, well, it has this giant spot on it. It's called the Great Red Spot. Well, what is the Great Red Spot? Well, it's believed to be an actual like sandstorm, a storm on Jupiter that has been there for centuries. And it's called, that's why it's called the Great Red Spot. So Jupiter, it's one of the gas giants and it doesn't actually have solid ground to land on. Uh, all we can see of Jupiter is its atmosphere. So the only solid thing it has is its core and it doesn't really have any surface which is why you can't actually send like some rover to Jupiter or anything because well, there, where could it land? It could only land on the core and I think that's a very bad idea. So maybe future humans can do it instead. Jupiter consists mainly of hydrogen but helium uh, takes up one quarter of its mass and one tenth of its volume. So that's what Jupiter is like made of. And Jupiter's biggest moons are Io, Ganymede, Callista and Europa. Callisto and Europa. So Europa is well known for its ice ocean where there could possibly be life. Like probably not, but maybe still because like it has an ice ocean. So there could be something, right? We don't know. So anyways, so those are the main moons of Jupiter, the biggest ones. Jupiter also has its planetary ring system, but very, very faint. So yeah, it has rings just like Uranus, Saturn and Neptune, but not very visible at all, just like the other planets. But anyway, Saturn's rings are very visible. So that's not the point here. So Jupiter does have rings. You just can't see it very well. You need to like, how you zoom in on a photo, you need to zoom in on Jupiter and see the rings. Missions to Jupiter. So the first mission to Jupiter was Pioneer 10 and it was launched on December of 1973. And then we have a uh, satellite called Juno. It was launched on July of 2016, which is very recent and it's the latest mission to Jupiter. And future missions to Jupiter, the Jupiter system, Jupiter system is uh, just Jupiter and all of its moons. So they call it the Jupiter system. So future missions to the Jupiter system include the landing of Jupiter's moon Europa on the ice ocean just to explore because that's what we do, we explore. And Jupiter also has a magnetosphere. So a magnetosphere is a region of space around an astronomical body uh, which has charged particles surrounding the object's magnetic field. So charged particles are like the ones that are charged with either positive charge or negative charge. That's all chemistry, but this is astronomy, so we'll forget that for now. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Adios. Hello.